Hello friends, in today's video we are going to see how to use formal verification tool. Uh, we are going to teach, uh, in this video we will be seeing how to use charge per gold in order to verify your assertion and assumption and uh, also we will be seeing how to write covers and uh, or how to create inbuilt covers in Jasper Gold tool. This will be the overall demo of this video and uh, probably will be uh, continuing a series of lecture along with that but this is the first video of the session. So let's, uh, the objective of the course is to teach you basically how to use formal tool. In case if you are not sure how to write assertion and assumption, I'll be teaching in that in a minimal scale, but I won't go in a full-fledged what is what. So in case if you are not sure about that, I'll be attaching few links where you can look into that and study. Uh, without making further delay, let's jump into the video. So here we are creating a very simple design, uh, which will be going to be like, I have an input one and input two which I'll be feeding into a, a register after adding that I'll be feeding into a register and I'll check the output. Similar way I have a in three input three, which I'll be feeding into the register and I'll check it at the output pin. So in order to implement my design, I have a clock and reset and also I have in one into and in three and the output one, as I mentioned here, it's going to take the adder sum. So this will be with the down to zero and then uh, out two is going to be with minus one down to zero because it's just going to be the in threes uh, whatever the width uh, we need there so we just using that and also in top of it i have a parameter and i'm mentioning it as width equal to four okay so in this always you flop block as probably everyone would have guessed it so here we are just going to use if reset out one equal to zero and out two equal to zero else out one will be in one plus in two and out two equal to in three. So let's say how in industry side, in case if you are using a formal tool and if you are a designer, you just need to write the properties over here. You don't need to create a sequence in general in functional verification or even when a designer wants to test their block, they are going to write few assertions over here. Uh, like for example, let's take a FIFO. In case if your uh, FIFO reaches full or empty condition, we'll be having assertions over here, which in case if it fails, the design is wrong or you are using it in a wrong way like that. So for those purposes, we are writing here. If you are a designer, this is the better way to do. And in case if you are a verification person, how we need to use, I'll be teaching you guys in, in just a minute. But uh, let's run this. So how to run this uh, file means, this is a design file. So how to run this file means that you need to create a tickle file in order to run the Jasper gold. So I, I have, this is the basic syntax where you will be having clear all and then analyze whatever the file you need to analyze. For example, let's say here I have only design file to be analyzed in case if I want to analyze uh, your test bench file which is like um, architecture SVA file also then we could have used that file name also but here initially I am teaching you uh, how to just in uh, include the design file alone so I am analyzing design file then we need to elaborate it in the elaborate you need to give what is the top module name so here the top module name is arc so I am using arc and then parameter width so here itself I set the parameter width to 4. In case if I want to change the parameter width, uh, let's say 8, you can change it over here. Uh, then you need to, if you are, if you include this, which will help you in analyzing your debugging your assertion file, which I'll be telling you uh, what is what in a minute. But this will be helpful, uh, create related covers, which will create related covers for that and also clock and reset we are just setting it so after doing that uh, in case if you are very first time bringing up the tool uh, or you might be using your uh, university portal or something so there you will be giving um, whichever the source app or whatever the area where your jasper gold tool is there you go there and then just do jg and then architecture run article uh, which is this file so I'm just saving this once 
so if you run that this kind of tool will get invoked let me run rerun that and show so here uh, if you want to rerun your particular tickle file you can rerun here and then if you want to uh, these were the two assertion which I have already mentioned in my design file <coughs> um, which is these two assertion out1 and out2 test so basically this assertion states that uh, my input 3 will be after one clock cycle it will be output 2 my input 1 plus input 2 will be after one clock cycle it will be output 2 so output 1 like that it is telling so here in order to check whether this assertion is working right or wrong you can click prove property if you click this just this property alone will come in case if you want to run together all these things you can click prove task so which will prove all these things so here in this tickle file i use the word called uh, cover create related cover precondition witness right so whenever you are using these statement uh, the sorry so these related covers will get created and first thing is called uh, precondition and then witness so witness is like you can see here observe here whether uh, whatever i expected is happening or not so this is out one out one input is going to be in one plus in two uh, in order to check i am just changing it to decimal for changing it to decimal you can use shift ctrl d or also you can go here and change the radix uh, whatever the way you want i just changing it to decimal so that uh, in order to show you it will be easy uh, if you want to let's say here two cycles are there let's say i want third or fourth cycle right in case if i click this it will create multiple cycles like that so here the input is 11 uh, and it, the in 1 is 11 and in 2 is 2 so here the value is 13 in the next clock cycle we can see and in this clock cycle uh, this is 4 and this is 13 in input 2 so 17 is coming so my assertion is not failing and mm, you can click this in order to get multiple cycle so this is how we will use this particular tool here itself we can you will have the list of signal names whatever you have let's say i want input 3 and input 2 if i want i can plot this input 3 and input 1 anything or whatever uh, sorry output 1 uh, output 1 is already there i need output 2 so i can take and use this here itself you can see uh, here the out input 3 and output 2 is not changing because for this particular assertion it doesn't need to uh, check that so the formal tool is smart enough in order to understand that that doesn't need to run this unnecessary signals and all in this but in case if we see uh, cancel no so in case if we see this output 2 precondition or witness there we will be able to observe this particular uh, behavior happening so here you can see 4 tick b111 and then the next clock cycle output 2 will be 4 tick b111 so this is a register so basically one clock cycle delay that's what we are checking on uh, this is a very simple explanation of jasper gold tool let's say you have uh, or you want to check the cover property or coverage so how we can do that is in your tickle file uh, you need to include two commands one is going to be this thing you need to use before even analyze command you need to use check cover. this is check coverage you need to use in it uh, there are few types of coverages which i'll be explaining you in shortly you can include type all and then what kind of models you want you can include those models so the models are branch toggle uh, statement these are types of coverages you can include this and after that you can use toggle ports only this is why i am using this ports only is that 
uh, here I don't have multiple internal signal in case if I have some internal signals then using port only means your input and output port alone will be toggled other ports will not be toggled so that's what it means and then I can give here check uh, um, measure underscore type I stimuli proof bound there are many types are there so I'm just giving but let's keep for simple try uh, stimuli and proof and bound so next I can set the time limit if you want uh, let me set time limit is uh, say 60 seconds this is not even a big design so which is not even needed but just me just let me set 60 seconds and then underscore background you need to run it in the background so after doing this change I can go here and rerun the tickle file so what it is doing is it's running it again and it started it it finished it here if you click you can see an option called coverage this thing if you click this coverage app you can go inside it and you can see that my coverage here is 100 percent so it whatever it need to be covered it's all things are covered uh, this is branch so branch is like L statement if statement that thing and uh, that is being covered and then in toggle it is checking whether all the signals are being toggled or not that is also being checked uh, this is all this is how you need to use coverage app uh, let me show you some example what if I hadn't covered these signals before uh, let's go back to my SVA file um, let's sorry SV file design file so in this let's say I commented out this thing okay so I commented out this and also let me include some uh, dummy signals maybe uh, logic dummy signal <laughs> let's name it also dummy signal um, let's save this and I'm rerunning this. I'm rerunning this. Once I rerun it, yeah, it's proving, it's trying to do it work. Let it do. So, here, if you now see my coverage percentage is not 100 because I didn't cover this input 3 and output 2 uh, assertion. So, what it actually say means here there will be three options one is called formal another is stimuli and another is checker so what this uh, formal coverage stays means when my stimuli hits 100 and my checker hits 100 then only my formal coverage will come 100 let's say my stimuli can't reach 100 my checker is alone reaching some percentage then whatever the least percentage because this have the least right so whatever this thing it will be the uh, combination of these two is formal so this is not reaching 100 and uh, let let me come back here if you closely observe here this is why it is happening means i commented out that assertion too so here the stimuli tells you that whenever the stimuli is green which means the formal tool is able to reach this particular signal, able to reach this particular line or something, whichever is executing. But I don't write enough stimulus in order to cover this. That is what it is trying to explain us. Uh, so that's the reason why this is being failed here. And apart from that, this is local and hierarchical is there. So uh, again here if you see in hierarchical the in 1, in 2, in 3 these things are uh, uh, this is it, these all things are in red 
So the reason is I have just in3 is not covered, but the formal tool doesn't uh, able to distinguish whether it is uh, in2 or in1 or in3, which you can see here, but the line it can't uh, distinguish anything. So it is uh, showing the entire line, but the signal name is distinguished here where you can observe these things. So in0, in1, in2 and in3, because it is a, uh, with this uh, 4 minus 1 like which is 3 down to 0 which is 4 bits so here the things are uh, you can see in red and also similarly for out also those points are coming out in red this is for toggle coverage and uh, in statement also we can see here which is showing this is not being covered and in branch you can see here this is not being covered so these things you can understand easily using our uh, like using the formal tool uh, which is maybe we need to write each and everything in functional verification but here in formal it will be so easy uh, so this thing whatever i teach until now will be useful for the designer instead of writing a mini uvm code or mini uh, system airlock test bench you can use this formal jasper gold tool in order to easily achieve it let's say uh, from the test bench point of view from test bench point of view uh, you are going to have some sv file which is a design file so let me copy paste this particular thing over there so i am going to have here a uh, few properties which i defined and then uh, this is the same signals what i have over there and then this is my property uh, property whatever the property I used to have before and this is the important thing you need to have bind statement which says that so bind my SVA which means my test bench file to the formal area uh, through its signal like that we are trying to say so let's save this let's save this uh, so this bind signal is going to directly connect your design to the test bench file uh sorry yeah your test bench file to the design so which is which will be uh, useful it's kind of like probing uh, which is direct probing or think like a interface uh, which is uh, binding your uh, test bench directly to the uh, design so whatever is coming there you can see it here also so that's what we are doing and then here uh, you need to include this file name also in the analyze command. So you are telling architecture sva dot sv. So this is also we finished it. So let me rerun this. And right now I am just showing you uh, about this particular design, right? So I will for now I will comment out this coverage which is not needed essentially uh, let me show how this comes so here those four assertions are coming we will and here you can see uh, the SVA file whatever we defined is coming over here and uh, before going or running this right uh, let me show what if now, now you observe this here the SVA is showing width equal to 4 uh, let's let's change this width uh, to 8 just to show that these parameters are can be overwritten using the tickle file because basically uh, you might be having multiple parameters which are multiple configurations you might be having for your particular design so in case if you have multiple configuration for your particular design then in the elaborate stage you can change your parameter which will be useful and let's run this so now we can observe that the width has been 8 and uh, let's change uh, now the assertions a little bit in order to understand uh, whether how it will the assertion if it fails how it will show uh, let's keep like out 2 in 3 as out 1 and uh, this as out 2 let's run this 
we'll load that again and we'll rerun this so once we rerun it it is showing here that has been failed so when you double tap it it will show what it is happening here you can click multiple cycles here and then you can debug uh, this is a very simple video where i thought of explaining you how the jasper gold tool really works uh, hope this will be useful for you and uh, there are multiple things which we can do with formal tool for example deadlock live lock we can check and then we can even instantiate a scoreboard along with that and also we can even check clock domain crossing which we will be testing in the next next video but hopefully this should have given you a basic understanding of how to structure your uh, design file how to structure your uh, dispense file and also your tickle file uh, I will be attaching these things. I will put an in EDA playground and I will attach those links below. If you want any reference, you can take this and use this. And uh, hope you would have liked it guys. Meet you in next video. Until then, bye. And in case if you like this content, always feel free to subscribe to the channel. And yeah, bye.